Okay, so welcome back to the third and final part of the 30 Day Thrift Challenge video demonstrations. So this part will focus on the specific exercises that will be outlined in the email that I'll send to you um, so you can follow along. Okay, so the first exercise that we'll be doing is going to be using the newspaper. Okay, remember in the first video I talked about two varieties of how we basically use our hands. One is to pinch, to grab something, or one is to actually grip it. So for the newspaper, we're actually doing both. So you can get um, a regular sized newspaper or these advertising newspapers that you see in the subway. And basically you're going to pinch the newspaper in this fashion. And you're just going to use the muscles of the hands, not any accessory muscles. And you're going to curl or crunch the newspaper into the center of your palm. And when you have it in the center, you want to make sure that no one can see it and you squeeze it one, two, three times. You can either, either get another sheet and do the opposite hand, or if you want to conserve paper, you can unfurl the one that you just did, and you can repeat the same thing with the other hand. So I'm gonna pinch it this way, and just using that hand, no other accessory muscles, I'm using my fingers to bring the paper crunch into the center of my palm, and then one, two, three. Later on in the challenge, you're actually going to put two sheets of paper together and you're going to pinch and do the same thing. And that's going to be more challenging because there's more volume of paper. So you'll actually be exercising the fingers and the hands a lot more to try to get that into the center of your palm to hide it and then squeeze it one, two, three. Okay? So that takes care of the paper part. Now we're going to demonstrate the six exercises that you'll be doing, I call it freestyle, with no, no tools whatsoever. So the first one is you're going to squeeze and release. Now what's important about doing this is that you're just not squeezing, you're also exercising effort to release, so you're actually expanding, extending. You're going to do one, two, three, four, however many repetitions for that day. The second exercise is you're going to bring the fingers so that they're flat against your palm this way. So um, one, two, three. That's different than doing this. So one, expand, two, expand, three, expand, four, expand. Third exercise is I'm just using the joints of the um, edge at the, at the tip of the fingers rather, and it's like I'm scratching something. One, release, two, release, three, release, four, release. That's the fourth one I believe I said. And then um, from here, we're going to do the next exercise. You're going to go with each individual finger into a spiral and then squeeze. Come back to neutral, spiral and squeeze. And squeeze, and squeeze. So don't neglect focusing on each finger spiraling around and then squeezing. The opposite of that is to have the palms up, starting with the index finger and coming around and then squeezing. Turn over again, squeeze, turn over again, Squeeze, turn over, squeeze. And the last exercise will be to focus on the ring finger and the pinky finger. And those typically get neglected. You're going to squeeze, release, squeeze, release. That focuses on strengthening these muscles here and activating these tendons here. Notice that these fingers and the thumb want to get involved, but your focus of attention is just these two, to squeeze, release, squeeze, release, squeeze, release. If you come in a little bit closer and pay attention to how this muscle gets activated, you'll see the difference. See how that gets activated? So that's what you're focusing on. All right, and you do 
the same with the other with the other side. Our thumbs, index, and middle finger tend to be pretty strong, and so we have much more development here than we tend to here. So we want to make sure that this stays balanced with this side, so we end up doing that exercise as well. So those are the um, exercises that you'll actually be doing without any tools. Just to review very quickly, the first one is squeeze, release, squeeze, release. The second one is flat, release, flat, release. The third one is pinching or scratching, release. Then from there is spiral, squeeze. Then from there is opposite, spiral, squeeze. And then the last one is pinching just the ring and the pinky finger. Um, there was something that I wanted to say about that. Um, the order doesn't matter as well as you can do one hand at a time or you can do both together. What I recommend is that you do one hand individually because when you do two together, the dominant one tends to work more rather than um, your non-dominant hand. When you work the, dominant, uh, the non-dominant hand by itself, you tend to really focus on it, so it really gets a more deep uh, workout when you do that. So that's it for the 30-day grip challenge. Um, you've got three videos to look at, and um, look forward to an email from me within the next day or two um, so that we can continue from there. Thank you.